Hello everyone, and welcome to the epilogue of Death and Betrayal in Romania, a Dana Nightstone novel. Let's play the epilogue on Hardcore Mode. Thank you for buying my novel. Mode. Have a good day. Ah, what? So I don't want to complain about this game too much, but that that one part of the epilogue is extremely blurry. That cutscene is just blurry. And there's no music playing. Okay, so the ghost boy is saying, hey, we need to get this guy's pills. In fact, this epilogue is going to focus on this old man. Uh, Cesar is his name. Thank you. I wonder who that boy is. Why is he so worried about Cesar? I should find out tonight. And actually, it's nighttime right now, so uh, let, let, let's find out right now. Yeah. So this is a puzzle. What you want to do is find the letters. I actually kind of like this. This is a nice, nice hidden objects challenge. <laughs> and the final letter is O. So that's Constantine, and he leaves us a letter. But the gate is locked, and we're going to have to use that key. Oh, also, we're going to steal tools. Right? Put this over here. Grab the gate key. And it's time for everybody's favorite type of puzzle, the randomized puzzle. Okay, so, uh, the solution is the same every time, but, um, you know, you know which, which um, thing flips which is randomized. So I'm just working from top to bottom. That's... That's how I solve these puzzles. Oh, did I do it? I did it! Right! Cool! Well, that's good. Usually, usually it takes longer because it, it's randomized, like I said. Hmm, Alright, let's go across this bridge. Whoa! Thanks, Constantine! Gee, if only more ghosts were, um, friendly and stopped me from being killed. And now into Constantine's past. And as you can kind of see, this is Cesar. This is Cesar when he was younger. Constantine, please fetch my saw and nails. They're in the toolbox. I think I left the keys near the lantern. You left the keys here? What? What? Squirrel! Ah! So we need to give an offering to our evil squirrel gods by um, getting acorns. This is kind of fun. You need to throw throw rocks at the acorns. And sometimes I miss, which is why I, I'm uh, double-clicking every single time. Here you go, Mr. Squirrel. I swear, the animals in these games, they're always stealing things, and they always want food. Well, his toolbox only has one tool in it, not a very effective tool. Box, I would say. We have rope. So we're gonna break this. Yeah, nobody needs that. Yeah, we're just gonna break it. Funny how we need to break that in order to get three wooden planks. I mean, to get one wooden plank. You, you think we would have just broken that at the beginning? We've gotten all of our wooden planks from there. Righty, so now we have the ladder. 
Ah, Miss Nightstone, you finished cleaning up? Hey, Cesar. The animals have been getting into the church grounds again. Would you mind helping? Okay, let's help. Oh, find the shovel. Oh, find my hammer. Oh, find those metal bars. Oh, I need my mask. Oh, I need my big thing there. Oh, find the angel pieces. Also, find me some glue. Oh, I found torn photos somehow. Okay, let's rebuild this photo. What did I find the photo in? I, w I was just finding, like, statue pieces. This is a picture of the family. Hey, Cesar, I got your picture. Where did you get this? They're fine. I think you should go to bed soon, Miss Nightstone. Good night. I don't want to go to bed. Boo. Wah. <laughs> okay, whatever. Bandit, let's break his stuff, okay? This is a kind of a complicated puzzle. You actually need to back away and get that before we can solve this puzzle. You, normally you'd think you'd solve that first, right? Nope. Okay, we're unscrewing this. I'm gonna pry the cover off somehow. I'm still not sure how to do this. Do, do I take this big thingy? Oh, I take that big thingy, yep. So now I want to sand off the corners, right? Then I want to use the rust. You have to do this in a specific order. I, w I would remove the requirement that you have to do it in a specific order. And there we go, okay. Iron bar we found, solves the puzzle. Bandit, stop! Slow down! Another thing I would do was add music to the cutscenes. Okay, we have a walking stick. And a flashlight. So you want to use the walking stick over here. This is a puzzle. You need to figure out where to walk. So we're walking like this. On all of the icy squares, those are safe squares. Simple enough to figure out, right? And we have a knife. Right, so we use a knife to get a knife. But a better knife. This is a better knife. And there's Cesar. I mean, the, the guy, Constantine. So Constantine says his dad made wooden toys, which means we have a wooden toy puzzle. Find all six pieces of the toy, and then put them together. Oh, it's a jigsaw puzzle. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh my toy. fault. If it weren't for me, you would still be alive. That's all my fault. <laughs> it's my fault. Ooh, something tells me this story does not have a happy ending. I mean, I know the boy is dead because he's a ghost, but still, unhappy ending. So let's see, we want to break into here. Actually, forget that. I'm not breaking into this place. I'm making myself a skateboard. Yeah. Yeah, 
Pesky board. Cool. Um, um, and, um, over here! Uh, over here, back... Oh, hold on a second. Picture. Doctor, I think he's waking up. We'll have to tell him the news. Won't the shock kill him, Doctor? He deserves to know. Wait, why am I watching General oh. Hospital all of a sudden? Whoa! Cesar has really ripped muscles! I guess he worked out a lot. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so I'm collecting items here. And kerosene. Okay, so now this is this is going to be the puzzle. Where's all that kerosene? Okay, kerosene goes here. We seem to be collecting photos. Oh, oh great, and we found a, a defibrillator. Those are always useful. Almost as useful as crowbars. That's a photo. Those are batteries. Uh, no, out of the way. Batteries. Batteries for my flashlight. Yeah. Oh, and this is a book. This book is actually a jigsaw puzzle. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, you need to put everything where it's supposed to go. Very simple. So let's see. Housewarming party. Dad building the house. New swing. Birthday party. Mom's funeral. Photoshopped picture. Car and badly photoshopped picture. Oh, Photoshop, why must you fail us? Hey, Constantine. Hey, you what? A newspaper without a headline? Constantine, I need the map from the back seat. I don't remember where we are. Gosh, Dad. Really? Why don't you buy newspapers with headlines? This is why you're always getting lost, Dad. You're buying things without words on them. Jeez. Jeez. Wait, he has all of Dana's books in his car? Okay, so, <clears throat> puzzle time. We are passing by the hospital. Here's the communications tower, and then we take a right at the church. Then we pass by city hall, school, farmland, gas station, arch, cathedral, ski resort, castle, and football stadium. Or soccer stadium. In any case, uh-oh, this is the fatal accident! No, 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 not like this. It's all my fault. No, 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 all my fault. So we got a rusty bolt cutter somehow. I, yeah, how did we get that? Well, we got it, and now it's a bolt cutter, which means we can cut ourselves some bolts. Ready for breaking and entering. So let's see, I believe I need Bandit to get these tools here. And I have a car manual. So the car manual is missing a page, meaning we get a puzzle. We need to find all the pages. Put the seat handle there to get the final page. Oh, and this gives us a handy dandy jigsaw puzzle. I haven't seen one of those in a while. So this piece goes here, and this piece goes somewhere, like in the upper corner or something. So the pieces snap into place once you get them into place. It's a difficult puzzle mainly because you um, can't move the pieces out of the way, so they're constantly overlapping each other. 
Alright, piece at the bottom. This is actually a car transmission, or whatever you call those things that are on cars. I don't know, I'm, I'm a doctor, not a car mechanic. Oh, it actually does go there. I thought it didn't. Huh. Alright, so, cool skateboard, tools, and here we go. Find all of the things which are wrong with the car. I just said I'm not a mechanic! Oh, Oh dear. So all of the things are on the left-hand side, besides for this, um, gear here, so that's, that's helpful. This is the picture, this is the picture, so you're supposed to look at this picture and say, Hmm, what's, what's changed between the picture and the engine? So it turns out the engine broke because of a faulty gear. Miss Nightstone, what are you doing? Well, I'm just spying into your personal history, especially the tragedy with, you know, you killing your son. Get out of my house! You have no right to be snooping around here. No, but but you didn't really kill your son. It was the gear piece. The gear piece. You're lying. I've spent my life searching for an answer. It was all my fault. I can speak to ghosts. I see your son, Constantine. He showed me this faulty brake under your car. It was not your fault. That's not possible, Miss Nightstone. My son died many years ago. I killed him. I can never forget that day. It's hard to believe, but your son, Constantine, he has a scar on his right knee. He says he fell from the swing you made. He's right here, Cesar. He's here? Constantine is here? Yes, and he wants you to forgive yourself. It wasn't your fault. He's here? I... I... Const... Okay, so I feel like Dana kind of dropped the... Oh, by the way, I talked the ghost thing from out of nowhere. Yeah. Anyway, um, um, we're going to bring this guy back to life using a car defibrillator. Well, we have the defibrillator. We're using the car engine as a battery. Is this... Is this safe? I, I, I don't think this is safe. Anyway, let's fix it. So let's see, get it to the right temperature setting, or right setting, get these pieces. Here, get the right wavelength, and go! Constantine, is that you? Constantine, you forgive me? The two of you will wait for me? I promise you, my boy. I will live my life fully. A letter from Cesar. I wonder how he's doing now. Dear Miss Nightstone, I can't thank you enough for what you've done for me. You've given me peace, and my life has meaning again. Please visit the castle anytime you are in the area. Yours sincerely, Cesar. We finished the epilogue. Hooray! And that is all for Death and Betraya in Beth Death. Ugh, ugh. Wow, failing at the very end of the game. Death and Betrayal in Romania, a Dana Nightstone novel. Game number five in the Dana Nightstone series. If you want to watch um, playthroughs of the other four games, I have them here on my YouTube channel at Orgelfunf. And it looks like I did everything besides beat the epilogue in under 30 minutes. Which is not true, I beat the epilogue in under 20 minutes. You saw me beat the epilogue right now. And it looks like I used a hint somewhere, so I, 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 I didn't get all the achievements. So. Oh well, still, I had fun playing this game, and I hope you had fun watching the walkthrough.